This is a very nice clear lock for um, practice picking. You can see all the little pins and the function of the lock, just how it works. And these are all the lock picking tools for single pick, for single pin picking. We have a few keys over here just in case. Here's a tension wrench, my favorite tension wrench, and then my favorite tool. A diamond. The diamond tip? Yeah, the diamond mm -hmm. tip. Yeah, so I'm going to do it again on camera. At least try to. Once again, tension wrench in the right spot. Pressure on. I take my favorite tool, the tool I think will work best, right above. And I try and get the, uh, the pins in place. Now it is always good to spray a lot down there with WD-40 just to make a job a bit easier if you like. Um, it just makes it a little easier on you, I find. Oh. Like I said, it can be dangerous to humans. Resorting. This is mainly a, like a last resort, single pin picking. When raking isn't cutting it? Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't cut it. You stick a different tool in here. I'm calling this one the arch, even though I don't know what its real name is. Eh, maybe that is its real name. Who knows, who cares? I think it's the triangle. Oh, you got it? Yep. Awesome, good job. Okay, all right, now, my turn. So after practicing on the practice lock for a little while, I felt confident enough to start on a regular store bought lock and since it's always the keys to our bike locks that we're losing I thought this would be a good one to start with. Got it. Okay. Ooh. It smells of gasoline. Okay so get the tension wrench in place. Hold it with just enough pressure that I can feel when I've got movement and I'm gonna try the diamond pick. Now each of these picks is, well they're similar, but mildly different and that's because sometimes you'll have more space to work with in here so you can have a deeper pick and uh, sometimes the pins are set higher where you'll need a deeper pick. Sometimes you don't have room and you need a lower one. Some are better for uh, rocking, some are better for raking. These are things that you'll learn as you go ahead and read up on lock picking. As soon as this kit came, I went ahead and scoured YouTube to find the best. And there's actually this guy who, his channel is actually called LockTube. It was really cute. And he gave, he had this one video for beginners and that, that's when we all clicked after watching that video. But doing the practice lock versus a real one, there is going to be a transitional phase. I feel like maybe I could use a slightly deeper pick. Not that deep. Let's try this one. There. Ugh. So, need a lot more practice to get a lot faster, and I think next time I will try a more expensive lock. This was a dollar store lock and the lock is already breaking. Let's see here where the tension rod is pulling the, I wasn't using this tension rod but nonetheless it was pulling the brass away so that the tension rod went all the way through. At that last moment it went all the way through and that was bad. So I don't have the right, yeah. So I'll have to start buying more expensive blocks to practice on next time. 
there you go. It's a fun little kit for starting. I think I'm ready to go professional.